Canon provides a bunch of functionality with its cameras if you use the additional EOS utility. However, it's not perfect and can sometimes not detect your camera. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canon Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do if your EOS webcam utility isn't working. So the first thing to do here is to check for uh, cable connections. Uh, make sure that the cable between your PC and your camera is connected properly, that there are no breaks in it, uh, everything is working fine, all the connections are tight and if you're using the right cable. A lot of Canon cameras use micro USB cables and a lot of them only have power lines in them which means you'll not be able to actually exchange any data between your PC and your camera. So make sure you're using the right USB cable and make sure that you're plugging it in into the right USB port. Once you're done with that, what we're going to do is uh, to check for conflicting programs. Now, for example, if I were to launch OBS Studio, yes, so you can see if I launch OBS Studio and I try using my camera, which is this pin right here, it's not appearing in here. And that's because I'm already using it in another instance of OBS. And this problem is going to apply anywhere. So if you're using your camera to take a video call on Google Meet and you open another app that requires access to your camera, you'll not be able to use it in the second app until you quit the first one. So just make sure that no other app is using your camera so that the program that you want to use, whether that's OBS, or anything else can get access to it. Another thing is to activate and reactivate your camera. Now this only works in OBS. So if I start up OBS, uh, wait a minute for it to show up. Yes. So as you can see, as soon as I select the DSLR camera source here, I get this activate and deactivate button. Now, uh, this button essentially turns off and enables your camera. So this works well if you're getting the black screen error or the USB plug with the cross red cross on it, indicating that your camera is not connected when your camera itself tells you that it is connected. So just make sure to try um, basically enabling your camera on and off and that should do the trick. The next thing you can do is make sure that your EOS webcam utility is actually updated. Canon has phased out its old EOS utility, which means if you still have the older version, there is a good chance that you might not be able to use it until you update. The new utility is uh, this. It's the EOS webcam pro utility, which is a paid tool. I hate Canon for this. Uh, but essentially, this is the tool that you need if you want to use your camera as a webcam over a USB cable. Now, uh, if I go to settings, I can see my version number here, which is 2.2.22. So just make sure to cross reference this with Canon's website and make sure that you're on the latest version available. Finally, if nothing else works, your best bet is to just go ahead and delete the old version of the webcam utility and install uh, the EOS webcam utility pro. Now uh, press Windows key plus X on your uh, keyboard to open up the quick access menu and head over to installed apps. This will show a list of all the apps that are installed on your PC. If we give it a second to load up, let me just search for webcam here. And uh, as you can see, I've already got the webcam utility pro installed. So uh, if you've got the regular webcam utility, you can go ahead and uninstall it using this button. Um, yes, we want to uninstall it. And once the uninstall is complete, you can head over to Canon's official website to get the latest version of the pro webcam utility, which is once again a paid tool and only allows you to stream 720p 30 FPS from your camera, no matter the recording capabilities of your camera itself. And uh, that's that. That should fix uh, your issues of your camera not showing up in the webcam utility. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.